Today we're looking at the northernmost city in the Dallas-Fort Worth Metroplex that we're going to cover in this channel. And that, of course, is the city of Anna, Texas. We're looking at Anna's history. We're also going to look at what it's like to live in Anna. And we're going to take this opportunity to look at the affordability, the lifestyle, and real estate which is gonna help us compare Anna to the rest of the cities in the Dallas-Fort Worth Metroplex. So regardless if you're looking to move to Anna or you just wanna learn more about the city, this is the video for you because we're gonna cover everything that you actually need to know about Anna, Texas, which first starts off by finding it on the map. Anna is at the far north part of the Dallas-Fort Worth Metroplex and leans on two main highways to access the Metroplex. You have Highway 75 running north to south, and you also have Highway 121 at the south part of the city. Now, if you want to get to Fort Worth to check out the stockyards, you're looking at about an hour and 10 minute commute. Now, if you want to go to Dallas to check out the Dallas Stars, you're looking at a 50 minute commute. And in the event that you need to catch a flight at the DFW International Airport, that's a 45 minute commute. Now, I share those travel times because if you live in the Dallas Fort Worth Metroplex at one point or another, you're going to go to Fort Worth, you're going to go to Dallas, and you're going to catch a flight. But to give you a more day-to-day -day outlook on your commute, check out how far you can travel away from Anna within 30 minutes. So as you can see, most of the Metroplex is not accessible within 30 minutes. So you're looking at a commute. And now that we know where in the world Anna, Texas even is, I wanna welcome you to DFW Homeowner YouTube channel, the go-to real estate channel for the Dallas-Fort Worth Metroplex. My name is Jaime Resendez, your local realtor and team leader able to help you make money in real estate, whether you're buying or selling. And we're on a mission to reach every DFW resident. So if you can hit that like button, that's gonna really help us out. All right, so let's get back to Anna because this is what you came for. Anna, Texas is a city located in Collin County, which was incorporated in 1913 with John F. Greer as the first mayor. Now for the first part of its history, Anna's growth was relatively moderate, but as the Metroplex continued to grow and grow rapidly, the population shot up to just about 19,000 as of the current census, which at this point, Anna is now considered part of the Dallas-Fort Worth Metroplex. So in other words, this is one of those cities that the growth of the Dallas-Fort Worth Metroplex quickly caught up with. The same thing that happened to Plano, that happened to Allen, that happened to McKinney, that happened to Melissa, is currently happening to Anna. So to add a bit more context to the city, I want to introduce to you a third-party resource that we use very frequently in this channel, and that is Niche.com, which interprets millions of public data sets on cities all across the country and gives them a grade, which as you can see, Anna received a B plus grade from Niche having aggregated the 12 categories you see on the screen, which that's what an algorithm has to say, but what do current and past Anna residents have to say for the city? Well, aggregating the 55 reviews so far, they give Anna a four out of five stars. Now this report is way more comprehensive than we'll have time to cover in this video. So I'm gonna leave it linked down below so you can check it out for yourself. Because now we need to talk about the recreation scene. What does that look like in Anna? The city of Anna presently has nine parks to choose from, but as the city continues to grow, they're gonna of course be adding a ton more. And the reason we know that is because the city owns other areas of land throughout the city that are designated as parkland and will be developed as the city grows. Now, when it comes to trails, you're gonna to wanna to check out Slater Creek, which has a 4,400 foot walking trail that connects the Slater Creek Park Trail to Hackberry Drive. Now, something to look forward to is the Coyote tracks at the Coyote Crossing along the southern half of the trail. Given that this is a portion of a larger trail system that will eventually run almost the entire length north to south of the city, which will ultimately connect many of Anna's residential and recreational areas together with pedestrian access. All right, so now let's talk about one of the most important criteria for every single homeowner, which is the school system. Because regardless if you have kids or not, the school system impacts you from a property tax perspective and also from a resale value. Anna ISD is presently a 4A district with an enrollment of more than 4,500 students and climbing every single year, which given that Anna is one of the top five fastest growing cities in North Texas, we can pretty much assume that that 4A designation is gonna quickly go up to 6A. Now, if you're a big fan of numbers, when it comes to your school system, the student to teacher ratio is 15 to one, which is right on par with the state average. And when it comes to percentage of teachers with three or more years of experience, you're looking at 83%, which the state average is 84%, so just shy of that. Now there's many things that I as a real estate agent am not able to cover from a school perspective, so I'm gonna leave a full detailed report down below so you can check out Anna ISD. 
but something that I am able to cover is something super important to me, and that is, is there a Chick-fil-A in Anna? And I'm excited to share that, yes, there is a Chick-fil-A in Anna, so you're good to go. All right, so I'm only half joking about the Chick-fil-A requirement. That's super important for me, but it may not mean anything to you. But what might be important for both of us is the real estate situation in Anna. Because real estate impacts so much of your life. It impacts your cost of living, it impacts your wealth, it impacts just your quality of life altogether. So let's start off from a macro perspective. The typical home value of homes in Anna is $401,284. This value is seasonally adjusted and only includes the middle price tier of homes. Embrace for the following, Anna home values have gone up over 28% over the past year, which is not a typo as evidenced by the past 10 years. Now I want you to pay attention to the rapid rise over the last 12 months. But what I really, really want you to pay attention on is the inflection happening at the top. So if you've been waiting for real estate prices to turn around so you can buy, you might get your wish soon. Now here's where we get to the city to city comparison and look at the surrounding cities of Anna to compare some home values. To the north, the median home value of Van Alstine is $437,000. Westminster is $322,000. Melissa has a medium home value of $507,000, Blue Ridge $462,000, and Gunther's median home value is $647,000. So as you can see, Anna's right towards the middle. But what you might be wondering right now is, what does $402,000 even buy me in Anna, Texas? So let's check out the homes that are available for sale right now in this price range. Now those are some awesome homes that unfortunately by the time that you're watching this video most likely have already sold. So for the updated preferred list of all the homes available in Anna, check out the link down below, which is also a great opportunity for me to share with you this video that's gonna help you calculate the monthly mortgage payment in the DFW Metroplex. And it's mandatory viewing if you're coming in from out of state because you need to understand how the property taxes work in Texas altogether, but most specifically in the Dallas-Fort Worth Metroplex, which the property taxes are among some of the highest in the country. And that's an okay trade-off given the fact that we do not have state income tax. But now let's kick it up a notch and talk about the cost of living in Anna. Now overall, the cost of living in Anna is 10% above the national average. And if you break that down by category from a housing perspective, it's 10% higher than the average there as well. From a utilities perspective, it's 10% above the national average. From a groceries perspective, it's 2% less. And from a transportation perspective, it's 10% less than the national average. So at this point, you might be thinking, Jaime, Anna is a perfect city for me. If that's you, awesome. Congratulations. Connect with our top realtors down below. But if you're still on the fence, that's okay too. I want to give you a recommendation of two other cities to check out. I want you to check out Melissa, and I also want you to check out Princeton. Now, I probably shouldn't say this because I will get in trouble. However, given the fact that you made it to this part of the video, I'll reward you. There's actually a city in the Dallas-Fort Worth Metroplex that charges 0% in property taxes. And that city is located between...